Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season 5 episode seeing Red of the Flash and we are, so we start off with the nurses visiting Cicada at his house and gave him food and he wants to see Grace and she says no because CC um, PD is still there monitoring Grace. And so he gets really angry, and she tells him to channel his anger on Offy Metas. So he does that. He's going after this guy named Snake. He used to work for the one that used to handle do all the metal stuff. I forgot her name. And um, this other guy, and she off the other guy, but Snake escaped. And then we have CCPDs at the crime scene with Barry and Nora as being the forensic people. And then we cut to where Ralph is back and um, interrupts Caitlin bickering with Killa Frost over the cure. And basically she needs a new meta that was done within at least eight months so she can identify it in the genome. And then we cut to where Wells is working on Nora's writing. And then we have a cicada sighting and Team Flash get there as well. And then um, we then uh, it's a really nasty battle between Team Flash and Cicada, and uh, first it was going pretty good, and then um, he did his uh, power deadening um, trick, and hurt Nora really bad, basically broke her back, and um, her, butt, her blood is flooded with dark matter, so it's taken her a longer time to heal up than like a um, actual, um, cause like with the speed force, she could heal a lot quicker, but it's taking a lot longer cause of the dark matter that got flooded in her system. And then we have, um, uh, then Nora wakes up and she starts spazzing out because she can't move her legs. And, not being able to do that and then when they tell her what happened she just kind of gets really like freaked out and then we cut to where wells finds um the link with the metas and they were all in jail and we find out that cicada stole the sheet that has all the metas that were recently released from prison then barry tells us thing about it and um he's like that didn't happen here you know just you know, because he has pride in his officers, but um, Barry got a little heat about it, so just check. So Cecile was with Barry, and so she had to defuse the situation and tells um, Barry um, when they leave to uh, that she'll um, help them, and basically she's going to pull every ounce of, of favor she has to in order to get um, the... Um, that um federal involved and put them in safe houses and so he agrees to help and we cut to Nora's getting slightly better but she still can't feel, any, feel anything but she's starting to be a little bit more lax about it she's not really having so much anxiety about it but she's start you know starting to realize okay so you gotta calm down it'll it'll happen then we cut to where killer frost is destroying the the big, um, it's not a whiteboard because it's clear, but it's that big board they're using to help with the cure. And then, um, we got to where Barry suggests using her to recruit people for to the safe house. And because, like, she's seedier than the rest of the team, so they feel like she'll be good to talk to these people. And she agrees and agrees to do it. <laughs> And they find Snake, and he's in once he's first in line. Then we cut to Cecile, schedules the transfer with Singh, and then got a slight vibe off the cop that um, was walking back to his office. And uh, she asked, like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, sure, fine. But she felt, you know, something was kind of about him. But she kind of just dismisses it. And then we cut to where Snake brought in people, but um, the Metas want to off Cicada, and um, Barry uh, says, no, we can't do that, but Snake convinces them not to do it because of, um, I, I guess the guy's name was Boulder that uh, Cicada offed, and 
that kind of just put them in their places. Like, oh, okay, we probably should leave. And so they all agree to go to the safe house. And then we have Flash versus Cicada. But Barry managed to escape. And then uh, we have Cecile and Barry talk. And she mind read him about Barry wanting to off him. Not hurt him, arrest him, or anything like that to off him. And um, then we cut to... Oh, uh, wait. Uh, when, when it's Akita versus Flash, it was with um, Peekaboo because he she was the last hang-up that he needed to get. And so, anyway, they managed to escape from Cicada. I forgot to say that. Sorry. <laughs> so, anyway, um, then Cecile got the same vibe from the cop. So, she's going to go handle that while everyone else tries to get transferred over. Then we cut to where Nora is getting better. It's starting to feel her toes and starting to, you know, get back into it. Then Wells talks to her and wants her to take him to the future. Then Iris um, interrupts and then he comes cleaning with Iris, um, with Iris not listening. I mean, with Nora not listening. It comes clean and it's basically it's just following a trail. It's not really anything like nefarious or anything, but kind of is, you know. And so she tells him to back off and she says, okay, okay. And then we cut to Ralph and Cole Frost talk and, um, the reason why she gets this right over is because she's uh, afraid of disappearing and wants to protect Caitlyn and not, you know, not just, like, disappear. And then we cut to where the cop tips off Cicada, and so he arrives to where they're about to meet the federal people and the chopper. And then Splash versus Cicada again, and then, but Ralph brings up, um... Brings up the mess and the chopper. So basically, he uses his elasticity when they um, escape from the perimeter of uh, Cicada's um, powers. They manage to use their abilities to get onto the chopper. So Ralph was helping out people with Snake helping as well. And the reason why he even got his powers because he was wrestling Snake off this kid. And when the particle accelerator blew up, that's how that happened. <clears throat> and. Then we have Killer Frost versus Cicada, and that was a great fight scene, and she got a few shots in, which I was super, I was like, that is so cool and so awesome. I really love that. I hope more of that happens. And, um, then we have Killer Frost walking the dagger, so Flash was, um, got his powers back, and was literally beating him up, and almost offed him, but Nora came back to prevent that. And Cicada escaped. Then we found out the meds were safe. And then we cut to where Cecile busts the cop. And um, he got very nasty when he got arrested. And then uh, Captain Singh was like, It's almost like you read his mind. And she's like, Ha ha ha. Uh, I have more of an, uh, you know, apparent parental she made up some type of BS because um of um her kid that was born. I uh, said that, you know, she's just more intuitive now. <laughs> what does she name her kid again? I forgot. It was it starts with a J. Anyway. And then we cut to where Caitlin killed Frost talk and basically gave her Cicada's DNA as like a present and fixed the board. Then Wells does the analysis on the writing and found out there are two types of writing. So he wants to figure out what, who the other person is. Then the West Allen family time. And then when uh, uh, Nora leaves, Barry wants to wake up Grace because, you know, it's all about family for Cicada. And then we have Cicada looking at the middle scrapbook and eyeing Nora. And that was in the episode. Um... Oh, and also, um, Caitlin got, uh, Cicada's DNA, which is what she needed for finding the cure for the metahumans. So anyway, that was, a, this was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it a lot. I gave it an A-. minus. Uh, it's just the whole Barry trying to actually off someone was kind of crazy to me, so that's kind of why I gave it the minus, but... Overall, it was really good and super enjoyable. The fight scenes were really good. 
Uh, especially with Killer Frost. I really enjoyed that. I thought that was amazing. Anyway, it was really good. Really enjoyed it. And can't wait to see what else happens. And we also get to see a little bit of um, so the, uh, the Meta Snake. We got to see that he was a good person. He's still kind of good. And, you know, it's nice to have him more depth and some more characters that are so-called villains. So it was really good to see that. So anyway... That's what I did for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? Just tell me what you think down below. And don't forget to subscribe. That's on the channel a lot. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.